Hey guys, this is Lucas from Enviral Design, and this is part five of the GeoPix LED Pixel Mapper walkthrough. So this will be a really short video because this uh, this part of GeoPix is is pretty simple. Um, this is a 3D visualizer we've seen a few other times in other videos so far. Um, we've got the setup from uh, the Smart Clip Editor video just just a second ago, and I've gone ahead and assigned the triangles to geo group one and everything else is assigned to default group. So in the 3D viewer here, let's go ahead and turn off the lighting. Um, we can toggle our, or select our geo groups here. So when it's selected, um, you can move those geo groups around and you can rotate them. Same for the triangles. And this allows you to create kind of a, a layout that is uh, different than what you have mapped. So as you can see, we've moved the panels. They're still respecting the mapping that we have here, but they are positioned differently. And of course, the uh, lighting simulation respects the position and the visualizer. So uh, yeah, that's that's basically that. Uh, if you want to reset all of your geo groups to their original mapped locations that you have here, all you do is you select your geo groups and hit reset, and you are back to normal. Um, you have the same geo um, drag and drop square here as you do in the pixel map editor. So if you want, you can drag more geometry here. You can clear it and get rid of it. Uh, we have a couple different settings over here. Uh, Revoxelize, this is something you wanna click every time you move your panels. So if I move these up here, um, hit Revoxelize. It'll make sure um, that the voxels are all set up correctly and they're in the right locations. Uh, because that calculation takes a while, it's not done in real time. So um, we have low, medium, and high, so you can adjust the quality uh, and the resolution of the voxel lighting. And if you have a faster computer, you should, you should be going on high. Uh, if you have a really big structure, you're going to have more voxels and thus uh, lower performance. So you just have to play with that. It depends entirely on how big your your um, LED bounding box is for the visualizer. So. This is just a counter adjustment for overall brightness. If you have um, a bunch of spread out pixels, you tend to get uh, a brighter um, a, br a brighter simulation. And if you have panels like this, where they're all bunched together in, in tight clusters, you're gonna have a dimmer um, overall simulation. So this is just a, a counter adjustment tool for you to use to get that back where it needs to be. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, as far as navigation goes, it's a little wonky, uh, but that's because um, the view is locked down. You can only rotate so far. Um, so for now, this is the way it needs to be because uh, actual 3D orbiting and selection and, and moving is a little more complex than uh, you, would, you might think. So maybe for a future version, we'll get true 3D manipulation of the viewport integrated, but for now, um, middle mouse click will let you move the camera around and the camera is locked in terms of its target. It's always looking at a certain point. Uh, and you can move that point by right click and uh, dragging on the viewport. So this moves the target. So then when you middle mouse drag, you're still moving the camera in the same, same kind of range, but it's looking at a different spot. So right click is move target. Um, middle mouse drag is move camera. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, left drag will obviously move your panels when you have them selected. And uh, that's that. You actually do have to click on the colors. So once you click on green, uh, you've, you've got that locked in. Once you click on red, you've got that locked in uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, down here, little performance monitor. You might've seen this in other windows. Uh, you can pop it open, see how much RAM and CPU RAM and video RAM you're using. Um, quite useful if you have any issues. This will give you an idea of where your bottleneck is coming from. 
Cool. That's it for the 3D Visualizer. Thanks for watching.